Nufi tends to fly under a lot of people's radar, but their new Halo 65 AG might just be the best budget Hall Effect keyboard on the market. Thank you again to Nufi for sending this keyboard over for my honest review. This keyboard starts off at a price point of $89.95 but will be going up to $99.95 once the pre-order deals are over. You have an option between the Magnetic Coral Switch or the Magnetic Jade Pro. The Magnetic Jade Pro is what I have here today and is my preferred Hall Effect Switch in general. You can also purchase an additional wrist rest for this keyboard. Inside the box you get the keyboard itself, a cable, a keycap and switch puller, extra keycaps, and a quick guide. In terms of specs, this is very similar to the Wooting 60HE Plus variant, which has 8K Hz pulling range, of course that 0.1 to 4mm actuation range, rapid trigger, hyper tap, which is pretty much what they are calling their version of snap tap, but again, some games are banning this, so use this feature with caution. It is, of course, hot swappable. And the cool thing about this one is it does have south facing backlight. So you can use Cherry Profile keycaps, and the keycaps included are indeed Double Shot PBT Cherry Profile, but they are not shine through. So if you wanted RGB, the switches do have a light diffuser in them that makes up for the fact that it will be south facing so they do also offer some high quality shine through keycaps as well. This keyboard also features a really nice light bar at the top left hand of the keyboard and a nice logo that's kind of engraved into the keyboard on the top right hand side. There are two different areas of RGB so you can control just the outer area and the inner area which is like your letter keys. So technically you could only have the outer area of the keyboard shine or vice versa and it's just very customizable. Speaking of customization, the software is readily available online and there is no need to download anything externally if you don't want to. Something that I'm really happy a lot of more keyboard companies are doing as it gets rid of some bloatware on your computer in general and just makes the experience a lot easier. You can also update the keyboard's firmware through that as well. The overall design of the keyboard is quite nice in my opinion. It's not super crazy looking but it does have some uniqueness to it. I really like the rigid edges of the bottom case and I like the fact that they are doing the two-tone of that metal top case and plastic bottom because it kind of just looks nice and for the price point it can get a pass. What I'm not a big fan of is the text in the front bottom part of the keyboard facing you. It just looks a little bit tacky and you know in my opinion the cleaner the keyboard the better in terms of wording or text. So I think just the logo at the top right was more than enough. Some really nice features is the fact that everything is color coded so the USB-C port does have that orange accent color and so does the button right next to it. Speaking of the button right next to it that controls what mode you're in. It can control it to be in Mac or Windows or gaming mode as well so you can change modes on the fly. Something I'm also not a big fan of is the mounting style as it is your typical tray mounting style which means there is going to be pressure points in the keyboard depending on the screws and how many they put and it also uses a aluminum plate which does tend to bring a lot of ping and stiffness to the keyboard. Thankfully though they've loaded this thing up with foam and PE foam. Usually I'm not a big fan of PE foam as you know but in Hall Effect keyboards I do think it does somewhat help more so than on standard mechanical keyboards. Here's a quick sound test you guys can hear how it sounds.
So yeah, for the keyboard sounding as good as it does and performing as well as it does, I do think this one nails it in terms of price to performance factor. And I really think this one should be in your radar if you are looking for any sort of Hall Effect keyboards as this one does undercut the competition in terms of price while still getting those more premium features like 8K Hertz polling rate and firmware updates and just overall a great support from Nufi themselves. I'll be leaving a link to this keyboard in the description below for you to check out but let me know what you guys thought about the new free halo 65 he in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace